Hey YouTube, what the heck is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Man, I'm back and I'm better. I'm more ready than never. Let's get into this, you guys. What the heck? How did I learn telekinesis? Well, stay tuned. Okay, first things first, I think it is extremely important to explain to you that this video is not only me explaining how I learned how to do telekinesis, this video is me explaining how we can learn telekinesis. And when I say we, I mean all humanoids because it is super natural. You ever really pay attention to the words that they give to things? Supernatural abilities? Why would it be supernatural if it's unnatural, right? It's supernatural because it's super natural. It's not something that is unique to me. I wasn't born with abilities that you weren't. Here's how the breakdown is gonna go. I'm going to first tell you a few stories of the times when I really learned that I had the power and didn't know, and it just kind of came out of nowhere and it kind of scared me, but... <clears throat> And then I'm going to give you the breakdown of how you can also start your telekinesis journey. Okay, so story number one. This one is a little less exciting than the second one, but nonetheless. Story number one, I had just started my spiritual journey. At this time, I am about two and a half years into my spiritual journey. So this was in the beginning. So basically, I was learning about chakras and power, like and how your power in how your internal power system is connected to your um, to your external body and like I started meditating and I felt something I'd never felt before when you meditate you're actually able to be present so I didn't realize I had never existed in the present moment before I was always really in my head and overthinking everything and telekinesis is simply the act of being present right you have to fully be present in order to feel the energy vibrations. So I was starting to feel things when I was meditating, the energy vibrations that were pulsing off of my arms. I could feel them almost as if I could cup it, right? Like I felt like every time I would meditate, there was just energy flowing out of me. And if I wanted to, I could just grab it. Like I was holding a ball of energy. And if you've never felt like you could hold a ball of energy, then I really encourage you to meditate. And hear me out, I have ADHD. I'm not a huge fan of meditation but it was required in order to get my telekinetic abilities, my pyrokinetic abilities, my hydrokinetic abilities. And if you want to learn these things for yourself, then you're gonna have to meditate. But the beautiful thing about meditation is that there are many forms of meditation. So if you can't sit still and be present with um, you know, the, the standard old fashioned type of meditation, then there are many you can learn how to do. I've always been a firm believer that everything is possible and that there's nothing in the world that isn't possible. And because of that belief system, it's easier for me to be able to do telekinesis. So if you already are um, somebody who's very skeptical, and I mean like it's natural to be a little skeptical because we were trained to believe it's not real. But if you're like super skeptical, you're not gonna see results. Like your subconscious mind is a reflection of what your ego believes. Your subconscious conscious mind is kind of like your lenses to the world. It's your perception on how you view things. So in your subconscious mind, if you truly believe that magic isn't real and that these things are fake and humans aren't capable of them, you will actually have to retrain yourself to start believing before you'll be able to see progress with this. Um, but anyway, so I decided, you know, I'm really into watching Stranger Things right now and Eleven is just hitting my spirit right. Like I feel like I should try to see if anyone's ever posted anything about how to do telekinesis. So there is one legit ass person on YouTube. His name is the telekinesis guru and I will link his channel because he is absolutely amazing. You can tell everything he does is absolutely real. And he does telekinesis, pyrokinesis, hydrokinesis, geokinesis, all of the kinesis, I'm assuming is the plural of that word. However, anyway, anyhow, Anyway, old chap, yeah, he's amazing. And um, he taught that there was like these breathing techniques and these meditations that are required. And so I decided one day um, to try it. And through watching other videos, I had also seen the pinwheel technique. So I tried that first. So I'll post like, like a clip of it up here. You're not wanting to stand close enough to it to where you're doing aerokinesis, which is the movement of air. So, um, so I did get it the first time I tried, but the reason that it didn't work until I didn't 
mean for it to work, if that makes sense, is because you also have to have an understanding of the oneness, which means that there is a force, an energy, some people call it God, some people call it the universe, some people call it um, Gaia, some people call it Buddha, you, you get what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, no matter what label your human brain needs to put on it, it's just energy. Because of polarity, everything is constantly moving. Everything has its own different vibrational frequency. So you won't notice that your lamp and your, um, that your lamp or your chalkboard might be moving or shaking unless you sit there and you stare at it with absolute focus and not breaking your focus, you will see it move. You can do that with anything. You can see the floors move, the patterns on the walls, anything, because everything is always moving. Everything has a, a vibration. Therefore, everything has polarity. Therefore, nothing is ever still. Therefore, the same energy that creates solidarity, that creates um, you know, that goes from matter to solidarity goes through each and everything that is ever created, whether it be human or object, right? So you cannot force your energy through another and through another object. So I didn't understand that. No one ever explained that about telekinesis. Telekinesis is using the energy that you generate to push through, to push your own energy that you generated through the room towards another object and that force is what moves the object, not you moving the object by force. It's the force that is moving the object, you understand? So basically, I didn't know this at the time. So I was sitting there trying to manipulate the object, trying to move it, trying to move it, and it wasn't going anywhere. So eventually I decided, um, fuck it. And what I did with my hand, right? It was still in my little, like, I, I still had the grab on the energy that was going from my hand through the object that I had already generated. I was doing the breathing. I was doing the generating of the energy. So, um, I was still holding the energy. And when I went to say, forget about it. And I went to put my hand down what happened. And remember, I'm standing far enough away from this object to where it's not air. I went to put my hand down and I went like this. So the, the pinwheel instantly said, whoo. And I was like, oh! and I remember telling myself in that moment, holding the energy, if I did that, then I should be able to move it counterclockwise. If I didn't do that, and that was just the air, when I stepped backwards or through my hand, then I won't be able to move this counterclockwise. So I sat there for about one second and I said, fuck it. And I went like this with my hand and sure as shit, I remember clear as day, the sticky note turned counterclockwise. And I screamed and ran into, and told my ex fiance that I had just done telekinesis and I wasn't able to do it again. I couldn't figure out why for the longest time because like once again, when you're trying to force an object to move, it's not going to. So the next time I did telekinesis, I moved a truck. I went from a sticky note to a truck. So something to keep in mind about telekinesis, you will be able to move a truck on your first day doing telekinesis just the same way you're able to move a sticky note on your first day doing telekinesis. Telekinesis isn't something that, that gets stronger the more you practice it. It's always the same strength. It's just that you believe it more the more that you practice it and the more that you believe you can do it the more that you'll actually be able to move heavier objects but that's why you start with the sticky note because your mind doesn't comprehend that you could go move a truck if you wanted to or in my case quite literally a ford f-150 you ever use your mind to move a sticky note clockwise and then counterclockwise and be so shook that you did it and then a few months later you end up moving a whole truck well that's what it feels like to drive a ford f-150 all jokes aside i had just quit my job it was literally the day after i quit my job i had no backup plan not really sure what i was doing i was just kind of following my intuition listening to my spirit guys i needed to heal i needed to rest i needed to grow I needed to learn i drove up to santa cruz on my own and i took my longboard i'm not a longboarder i've longboarded maybe a couple times in a parking lot like you feel me but for some reason i went somewhere with as broken of roads as twisty windy of roads as santa cruz and just longboarded around man and had a day on the beach with myself i had a corn dog it was great now i found myself in the parking lot i found myself in the parking lot um after like 
skateboarding after longboarding around for a while i ended up in the parking lot that's across from the boardwalk and what happened next had me freaking shook there i was longboarding around vibing chilling hadn't fallen once that entire day and once again not a longboarder so all of a sudden i see this white truck this white ford f-150 if you will and its license plate strikes my eye because in the license plate it said 598 and that is the month and the year that i was born so angels were talking to me angel numbers you know the teens so I like, you know, I, I, I see that a lot. I see 513, my birthday a lot. I see lots of angel numbers. I have angel numbers tatted on me actually. So like, I see 111 a lot, 777 and 222, like lots, right? So no big deal, I didn't think much of it. So I'm skating around and sure as shit, all of a sudden, like I say maybe 20 minutes later, I'm still skating around the parking lot. And I remember, like it's like it went in slow motion. I saw the same white truck going to leave the parking lot and I lost control of my board. And I flew kind of off of it. So it went flying from under my feet, it went forward. And I remember thinking, dang, there goes my longboard. And I got so, angry at myself have you ever seen like in any magic movie where the character accidentally gets their powers without expecting it because they they had like an emotional breakthrough and something like intense happens that they weren't expecting okay so it was like that um it's when they basically say that the character used the emotion in order to get the power and that is so accurate because you feel it enough in your body to where it creates a literal energy flow that pushes through you and this was powerful for me because i remember thinking to myself there goes my long board and then I got so angry at myself in the same instant it was like this all happened in the matter of two seconds flat I got so angry at myself and I was like why do you not care about yourself because the car's window was down if I didn't want him to hit my longboard, all I had to do was speak up. But I didn't even want to bother by yelling at the car or be annoying about it and yell it out. I would rather just have my longboard be smashed and call it a day. And then I got super angry at myself because I had realized from a deeply rooted place, I need to love myself more. Why do I not care about myself? Like it made me super upset to think about the fact that I was just willing to let him run over my longboard when I knew for a fact that I could stop it and all I had to do was say something. But it was that exact knowing for a fact that I could stop it that made me able to. So what happened was the truck had gotten to the point where there was no way. I waited too long to say something. He was gonna hit the board. And I remember instantly going, stop! and i didn't even think about it like usually i'd be like wait wait or i'd be like hold on or please sir like something right i just literally threw my hand out and said stop and then quite literally the truck ah! and here's the thing the reason i know he didn't hit the brakes and it was me was because he sat there and he stared at me like this I was like, sorry, my longboard went under the car. I just didn't want you to run it over. And he continued staring at me like, and he didn't say anything to move his eyes, didn't move his mouth, didn't say anything. He stayed there too. I go and I ran all the way around the truck. I grabbed my longboard and I was like, why is he still sitting there? And I remember looking through the window at his wife in the passenger seat trying to say something to him, but his face was still this way. He never even turned to look at me after he didn't know why I asked him to stop. He didn't see my longboard and I ran around his car to grab it. He never turned to look at me, never moved the car just stayed frozen looking out the window and like his wife was trying to say something to him and he was completely ignoring her and the only reason I know this was because I ran back around the car because I thought it was weird that he was still sitting there and I was like I got it thank you same face and then I was like I appreciate it I'm sorry if I scared you I just needed you to not hit the longboard and his wife was like smacking him at this point and she's like hey 
and he was just like, how, how did she, how? And then he just rolled up the window and they just slowly drove away. And he like took forever to, even as he was driving forward, I specifically recall he took forever to turn his head back forward. Like he was still looking back, like he could not, but like he was frozen in shock. And like, it was the exact energy of me feeling so mad that I would let him ruin something that had just become fun for me because I just simply didn't care about myself enough to ask him to stop. Until like a month ago, I didn't know about this, that, that telekinesis was required to be practiced in the present. TikTok is a beautiful thing because now people are more willing to share their abilities. There are lots of people who post videos on TikTok with their faces showing and a lot who do it without their faces showing. But there are lots of people who post videos with their faces showing about how they're doing telekinesis, pyrokinesis, all of these things. And because of that, TikTok is a beautiful thing because it brought me to being able to realize um, that there are other people out there doing telekinesis and it's becoming more normalized so people are helping with it more. There's not just one person I can go to to learn about it. There's this one girl who explained the whole present moment thing about telekinesis and made it make sense for me. So I finally understood you're just supposed to be playing with energy. You're supposed to be making balls of energy, lines of energy, just creating energy forces and moving them. And when I finally understood that, I started working on it and I was able to move an object. The telekinesis is absolutely real. Um, you are 110% capable of tuning into your powers. Um, everybody is. And um, yeah, so this is just the beginning of my telekinesis journey. And I've seen myself move a sticky note. I've seen myself move a car and I've seen myself move foil. So I am fully aware that I can do this, but it is gonna um, obviously be a journey because much like any other person in our society, we've all been taught to not live in the present. So I've been very much practicing being um, present and being aware of my surroundings and of the oneness. And I keep having spirit guides come to me in dreams and tell me about me needing to learn to be with the oneness. I keep having dreams about the oneness and having dreams where my spirit guides come to me and they tell me like, you need to remember your power. You need to make sure that you control your power as well so that emotional impulses don't cause you to be like destructive when you get too strong. Like this was actually a dream I had last night. Yeah, so telekinesis is absolutely real. When I did it for for the first time with the sticky note, I got the tattoo, the 11 tattoo. And then um, later, like a, a couple months later, I was just coming really strongly into my psychic abilities, my tarot reading abilities. And I was able to predict the future like it was nothing, like every second of every day. So I got the question everything um, because you've got to start asking the questions if you ever want to see what you're really capable of. Um, the only purpose of life is living. We give life meaning, but the purpose of life is living. So don't take anything too seriously um, because everything's gonna be okay. You're just here to have a human experience. You're just here to experience things that taste good, things that smell good, things that feel good, things that sound good. You're just here experiencing love, but because our planet is so dense right now, it's kind of hard, but we are raising the vibration, so stay strong. Um, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this. Um, thank you if you watched all the way to the end. Um, if you are just here to hate and tell me that I moved it with air and this is a, um, none of this is real, then you can really just excuse yourself. Like this isn't meant for, I make these videos for people who want this advice and want to hear these experiences and know and have the hope that this is real because it absolutely is. Uh, if you have anything negative to say, if you just want to hate on me, you can really excuse yourself. It's really not that deep. Um, love and light to all and I hope you guys have a beautiful day.